Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one free personal reading at the end of the month to one subscriber. All right? So if you're interested in winning a personal reading with me, all you have to do is stay tuned. And I hope you win. Pisces, I hope you win. I just saw the star card at the bottom of the deck. All right, so wishes coming true. Wishes coming true. All right, you have the page of wands, the world card that came out during your pre shuffle in that same position. You have the moon, and then you have the five of swords. You have the king, the knight of wands. The Six of Pentacles, that came out as your main energy for the reading um, in your pre-shuffle. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and then the Death card. So you have like three major arcanas here. Definitely fated changes coming towards you. There is a shift. A very good shift that's coming towards you all right if you've been feeling off balance the last six months six months to a year six months to nine months to a year it's going to be a really good time for, for you so you're, you're I'm getting your closing out 2021 with a bang on a high note on a very high note all right you have the page of one some someone wanting to come towards you Maybe a little bit younger than you. This is in your already in your energetic vicinity. This is someone who's very curious about you. Someone who's, you know, who would like to flirt with you. But at the same time, it's some something new, all right? It's something new. The Page of Wands always brings new. So don't worry about if they are kind of non-committal at the moment. Why? Because this is this is new energy. It would be weird if someone wants to commit there and then without even getting to know you a little bit more. And it would be weird for you to want to commit then and there without knowing this person a little bit more. So yes, this person wants to date you. This person wants to take you out. This person wants to show you that love can be fun. This is someone's very playful, very exciting to be with and excited to be with you as well, Pisces. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, or you could have those placements, but very much. It's most likely a fire sign that you are dealing with, or they have those placements, or they have that energy. But this is very new. This is new. Also, could be a little bit younger than you, or could be young at heart. Okay? I'm not getting any immaturities here, so could be a little bit younger than you, or young at heart. Okay? But this is someone who's kind of who's really passionate to come towards you. You have the world card and then the knight of wands. Okay. Definitely a very big shift, a major shift coming towards you. You're closing this out finally. Um this is someone who has been very much in and out of your life. The knight of wands is someone who's very non-committal. But uh, uh, um how can I say it? Because the Page of Wands is new, but the Knight of Wands is someone who has been in and out of your life. So this is someone from your past, I'm getting. This is someone who's kind of a player, but non-committal. E either this is a player or non-committal because they have other commitments. Huh? Why did I say that? Anyway, you're ending a cycle with someone who cannot commit to you. Which is very good, Pisces. Really good. I I love that you're deciding that. I love that you're closing out a cycle that will that you know no longer serves you. No longer serves you. Alright? And you know what? Once you close out a cycle that no longer serves you, in comes the right person for you. Because the more you let someone who cannot commit to you the more you give this person a chance the more you delay the right person to come towards you 
all right so if i were you i would really close out this cycle okay you have the moon to the um to the six of pentacles you realize that there's clarity coming towards you something is illuminated within all right what is coming towards you what is illuminated is the clarity that you need what is that clarity that when you as i said when you close out that cycle that it's either a karmic cycle or someone who's very negative or very toxic towards you um i'm getting once you understand that that person is very toxic wasn't really good for you once you close out that cycle you realize it close out that you have to close out that cycle there's going to be a lot of balance coming towards you and the right person who will come towards you who would give you equal given who who is willing to give equal give and take willing to reciprocate the kind of love that um that you give out willing to reciprocate okay so you have the five of swords to the five of swords and then you have the ace of swords the four of swords the nine of cups to the death card all right you have the five of swords you're closing out this you're cutting this person out definitely this person has very selfish intentions or was very selfish in the past was very selfish in the past this person always wanted to win never really cared about how you felt i'm getting this person is very arrogant very arrogant especially the way they talk they feel that they can tell you anything they want even if it's hurtful they feel that they could just you know step on you and tell you whatever they want because you won't budge you won't i'm not budge but you won't fight back why because they know you love them very much and that they know that whatever they tell they tell you you'd accept which is not the case anymore that's why you're closing out that cycle you have the ace of swords to clarify to clarify the five of swords you have the ace of swords the four of swords the nine of cups to the death card definitely you're closing out the cycle you've you've really transformed into um someone unrecognizable this person can no longer recognize if you were someone who was a doormat to this person in the past you will show them that you will cut them out you will cut them out why how how did that happen they really hurt you in the past and you've healed you've realized you deserve better all right you deserve better and you've transformed into someone better very much transformed into someone better and you know what the right person will come to you your wishes are coming true. The right person is going to come to you. And I'm getting, really getting, it's the Page of Wands. So once you close out this karmic cycle, this cycle or karmic cycle, once you close out this person, this person out of your life, the Page of Wands comes in. I'm getting that very clearly. You have to get ready for this shift and for you to get ready for that shift you have to cut this knight of wands out of your life this player this non commit committal energy that's been in and out of your life this person who does not want to commit towards you you don't deserve that pisces all right okay so what is the overall outcome please all right your overall outcome is the queen of the queen of cups the page of pentacles and then the seven of cups all right finally someone who's going to come towards you out of all the options that will be presented to you after you know you close out the cycle there will be a lot of options presented to you out of all these options out of all these options one is going to come towards you want to uh, wants to offer you something solid and stable or potentially wants to work this out so you can have solid something solid and stable this is someone serious this is someone serious all right um i'm getting a little bit younger than you 
I'm getting a little bit younger than you. Um, could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Or could have those placements. I'm getting this person is going to offer you their cup of love. Their cup of love, alright? Although this is not a page of cups, I'm getting they offer you a cup of love. And that's the cup of love there. And I'm also getting that you're focusing on yourself a lot more. That's what makes you so attractive. Because you know you deserve more. You focus on yourself. And people see that. It's actually very attractive when someone can take care of themselves. Very attractive, all right? You're very attractive at this time. You're definitely the queen of love. Queen of love. All right, let's see the advice for you. What is the advice for Pisces? All right. lot of advice okay you have the ace of wands the five of cups the five of wands the chariot and then the three of um, Pentacles okay let's start with the five of wands to the five of cups let go of that conflict all right let go of the disappointment let go of the conflict that happened in the past see the opportunities awaiting for you waiting for you all right then you have the ace of wands the chariot and then the uh three of pentacles build solid foundations with someone move forward it's time to move forward it's time to move on it's time to um it's time to open yourself up to new love i'm getting this is a fire sign for some reason because there's a there are a lot of wands and other than that, um, I'm getting that energy. Very much that energy. Build solid foundations with this person. I'm getting this person will commit to you. Will really commit to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see other messages coming towards you. Okay. You have protection and then solitude. All right protection and solitude okay you might be needing a little bit of solitude or that pertains to the moon card there you might be getting a lot of downloads while you are in solitude and of course the four of swords solitude other than that protection you're very protected during this time of solitude and really you know reflecting and healing so i hope something in this reading resonated pisces if it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment in the com leave a comment in the comment section down below how it resonated for you. If you're interested in winning a personal reading with me, all you have to do is number one, be subscribed to my channel. And number two, write in the comment section down below what is meant for me will never pass me by. What is meant for me will never pass me by. It's you assuring to yourself, affirming to yourself rather, that what is meant for you will always be for you, Pisces. You don't need to chase it. You don't need to go out looking for it. You don't need to hold on so dearly to it. Because what is meant for you will always be for you. So I love you all. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next reading. And stay blessed.